Hey Southwest Elementary Spurs! It's going to be a fantastic Friday here at SWE. Today caps off an awesome lineup of Red Ribbon Week activities. That's right, Grayson. This week's theme was Life is Your Journey, Travel Drug Free. Savani and I are all packed up and ready to travel across the globe to celebrate living and learning. Grayson, did you pack everything on your part of the list? I sure did. Look, I've got my hiking boots, my compass, or a book from our school-wide reading project, the one and only Ivan. Um, Grayson? Oh, hey, what's that doing there? Let's go to Abigail for a story update while I pack this back away real quick. Hi, Spurs. I'm Abby, and it's time for an Ivan update. We asked students all over campus to help summarize our school-wide book, The One and Only Ivan. It has been so cool to all read the same book in every classroom at SWE. Let's see how our story is coming along so far. Ivan is a silverback gorilla. He lives in a big top mall with all his friends. Since Ivan was a little baby, he loved to draw. He draw with mud when he was a baby. He draw with crayons when he was at the big top mall. And he drew with chocolate frosting and he got in big trouble. Ivan has three good friends, one, Stella the big elephant, two, Bob, a stray dog who sleeps on his tummy, and three, Julia, who likes to draw, too. One day, a baby elephant named Ruby came to the Big Top Mall. Mac, the mall owner, knew that a baby animal would attract customers. Thanks for your good summarizing, Southwest. I'll check back in with you soon. Back to you, Grayson and Savani. Thanks, Abigail. It's so exciting reading a book together as a whole school. It really makes the journey come alive when we can all discuss the book together. This place looks very familiar to our main character, Ivan. That's right. His journey took him all the way from his natural habitat to the Big Top Mall and Video Arcade at Exit 8, an old mall turned into a circus. Speaking of Ivan, guess who hitched a ride with me? Atlas! That means it's time for the answer to yesterday's Where's Atlas challenge. Okay, Spurs, here are the clues one more time. Hi, Southwest Spurs. Ella and I are back with another Where's Atlas challenge. Clue number one. Atlas is in the middle of the world's second largest continent. Clue number two. Atlas is visiting a country that used to be named Zaire that the Congo River runs through. Clue number three. It is also the country that Ivan comes from. And a big shout out goes to Miss Thurman's class, who responded first with the right answer and the page number on where they found it. They took careful research and text evidence to prove their answers correct. Speaking of research and text evidence, our fourth grade students have done some extra research on gorillas. Their research is fascinating. Let's check in with them and see what they have to share with us. I'm Holly and I'm here in the fourth grade Alpha and Accelerated group. They have been researching gorilla species from around the globe. That goes great with our Red Ribbon Week theme, Life is a Journey. Let's hear from some of our great researchers. Apes have lived since 20 million years ago. Gorillas are large apes that are native to Africa. Gorillas have a bone in their head and it's called a sagittal crest that helps them chew plants. Gorillas have 32 teeth just like humans. An adult male gorilla can consume up to 40 pounds of vegetation per day. Ha, ah, we're finally out of that steamy jungle. That's a relief. Now we can see for miles as we're hiking toward our next goal. Speaking of goals, Natalia has some really exciting news. What could happen if the Southwest Spurs can reach the October AR goal? Hi Spurs, welcome to Natalia's kitchen. I'm just making sure that Whippy looks his very best. He's going to be very busy soon. You're almost to your October AR goal of 1,800 AR points. Remember, we are aiming for an 85% average as well. Here's how you're doing right now. Keep on reading so Whippy and his army of pies can come face to face with Mr. Draper and Mrs. Sloan very soon. Wow, that's going to be so awesome. Spurs, stay on the path to success with reading AR tests. Read every day. Do your best on your quizzes. Keep moving forward and we will reach our destination. You know, Grayson, we have just reached another goal. We sure have. Spurs have been collecting box tops to earn a crazy hat pass for today. 
Now on to math with Max to see how box tops can equal dollars. Now it's time for a little math with Max. Suppose if one box top is 10 cents, which is a dime, how much is five box tops? That's right, 50 cents. And then you can work your way up to 10 box tops, which is one dollar. And then to a whole box top sheet, which is two dollars and 50 cents. That's it with Math with Max. Wow, we really took that box from goal sky high. Yeah, we did. It's exciting to reach a goal that we've worked towards. While we prepare for takeoff, here's our in-flight menu for today. Good morning, Spurs. I'm Janet, your flight attendant for today. Today's day is Friday, October 26, 2018. Today's hot lunch is cheese pizza. Today's cold lunch is yogurt snacker. Today's salad is chicken Caesar salad. Today's sides are corn, veggie tray, and frozen fruit cup. Have a fantastic flight, Spurs. Thanks, Janet. Let's do a quick flyover of some of the amazing places our teachers and staff visited and hear from some amazing Spurs who gets their destination correctly. It lets us practice our map skills as we located our teachers' destinations all over the globe. Now please sit back, return your seats, and trade tables to the upright locked position and enjoy the flight. All week, our teachers have shared photos and clues from places they have visited on their journeys. We guessed where and colored it in on our U.S. map. I guess South Carolina. I guess Vermont. I guess Michigan. I guess Arizona. It's been fun this week learning about Red Ribbon Week and getting into its spirit. It's been a great week. The first day we wore red shirts. The second day we wore red socks. The third day we wore red halos. And red hair. We made it back for my journey just in time to start our day of learning. As you work hard to learn new things today, keep in mind of what we learned from our amazing school-wide book, in the words of the one and only Ivan, find your own way to be an artist, keep your promises to your friends, and don't be afraid to try the impossible. Have a great day, Spurs. Let's be productive this morning so we could enjoy the pumpkin roll. Come on, Bonnie.